My family's art collection comprises uh, a few hundred 20th century Chinese contemporary art pieces from all the way from the late Qing Dynasty right up to the late 1990s, collected over five decades by uh, my parents who are Singapore-based art collectors. What my parents actually set out to do was to showcase exactly how diverse and interesting this category of 20th century Chinese contemporary art can be. But for me, I think the pieces serve as a kind of a photo album, memories of the past and of our family history. And a few years ago, uh, due to my dad's uh, ill health, I worked with him to actually catalog the pieces and to actually to unearth the many interesting stories behind the pieces in the collection. And this process was really much more emotional and revealing that, than I could possibly have imagined. My parents, in their own way, really broke the glass ceiling uh, in their respective environments. So my dad was born in rural Malaysia and actually grew up in a large working class family. But he you know, got a scholarship to study music in Taiwan. My mom, uh, who could not speak a word of English at the time, actually got, on the strength of her portfolio, a scholarship to go to London to study art at St. Martin's in the swinging 60s and design interiors uh, for MGM movies in the UK. My dad loves Chinese calligraphy, Chinese culture, and Chinese history. And therefore, he gravitates more towards traditional Chinese ink, ink and brush, landscapes, as well as scenes of rural life. Uh, by contrast, my mom loves bold, abstract, expressionist pieces, which are more Western in origin. This abstract blue painting by Chong Su Ping was actually given to my parents by the artists themselves when uh, they got married uh, more than 50 years ago. And uh, I guess uh, that's where they started their collecting journey together. As my dad would say, collecting is all about patience. Um, and my dad had a lot of patience, so he could wait decades for the right piece. So this Xu Beihong painting of the black and white ducks first surfaced as part of a collection from a local antique dealer who really was quite unwilling to sell it because it had the name of her dad on the painting itself. So when it first appeared on auction in Christie's almost 30 years later, he got into a bidding war over the painting and they ended up paying way in excess of what they had prepared to spend on it because they really wanted it. But ironically, it was my mother who convinced and urged my dad to continue bidding on the piece because she saw how much it meant to him. And I think when all is said and done, that is the true sign of a collecting partnership. My parents were known for their often brutally honest, but always frank and objective feedback on, uh, you know, on the questions posed to them. Not only did I learn about the art, but I also learned about the influence that my parents actually had on collectors of Chinese art in the Southeast Asian region. This Wu Guanzhong is probably the most special to me because it was acquired at a time in the 80s uh, when you know, our family was going through a particularly challenging time. And when he started, it was a gallery that was so small that it could only hang four paintings. And the fact that it turned from this collection to what it is today, I think speaks to the name of the gallery that he chose, which is Yuan Gallery or Yuan Fen. I believe we have been gifted by fate to have enjoyed this collection as a family. As stewards of this gift, uh, we feel it only right that we actually give it back to those who need it more. And this collection will ultimately be used to fund efforts to help uh, the elderly uh, struggling with uh, dementia and cognitive decline, as well as children with special needs and autism. So as my parents would always say, art enables us to see the world in you know, all its splendor and glory and vibrancy. And I think it is only right that we uh, help others are unable to do so and who need it more.